the post monsoon season has begun a season that is apt for sand mining early in the morning illegal sand mining activity is seen along the banks of the river shibsha about 800 meters away from the village of kokare bellur in south india sand loads are being transported on bullock carts it is something of an open secret sand collected in this season is later sold at unimaginably high prices untouched by the humdrum of commercial activity nature's mysterious wonder is yet to unravel The new season brings with it flocks of spot-billed pelicans, painted storks, and other species for nesting in the tall trees that stand in the heart of the village. Somehow they know the time has come to return to this village from thousands of miles away. Each bird has its own story, its own secret life, and it all began here. The birds circle over the village and choose a tree to nest. The pelicans arrive first and settle on the grounds of mature, large canopy trees. The village also offers nesting niches for many other birds. The village women have adopted these birds as their own daughters for us it is similar to when our own pregnant daughters come home for childbirth the birds are seen nesting in clusters of 15 to 20 pairs per tree they lay eggs from october to november The birds feed at the abundant lakes and irrigation tanks around the village. The area in the vicinity of the village offers several large tanks that provides food for these birds. Over the next 6 months, bird and man coexist peacefully. The droppings of these fish-eating birds are rich in nitrates. The villagers make use of this rich supply of natural fertilizer known as the guano that collects below the nest. The owners of the trees inhabited by the birds dig deep pits under the trees into which the guano falls. Silt from nearby lakes and ponds are mixed with the guano which is used in their feeds. For over 500 years the village has been shared by birds and human beings living in perfect harmony and understanding. But now This age-old pattern of peace between the avian visitors and their human host has been rudely shattered and the very existence of the pelicans is in jeopardy. Nearly 30 years ago, the village provided home to more than 2000 pelicans here. 
the numbers have now dwindled to a mere 400 words. Lack of nesting space is one of the major factors contributing to the decline in number of pelicans and stocks. There are only about 200 trees left in the village where the birds nest. There has been an increase in demand for firewood to cook food and also to burn bricks that are manufactured here for local use. This has caused the decline in the number of trees both in and around the village. The increasing conversion of the land for arable crops has also caused the loss of trees that provided vital breeding sites. In the village of Banali, about 2 kilometers from Kokarebello, both the pelicans and stocks have stopped breeding due to lack of nesting space. From time to time, they are also victim to the high tension line that passes through the village very near to the nesting trees. Each year, about 20 to 25 birds get electrocuted. Once the birds have laid eggs, the predators come in great number. Cats and dogs feed on these chicks that have fallen from the nest. The local villagers save some of these chicks. They feed them and also raise them to the fledging stage so they can return to the wild. The month of May takes them away again and the village experiences a silence 